Welcome back. For more on our top stories and others, please visit our website, channelstv.com, and on youtube.com forward slash channelsweb. Log on to m.channelstv.com to watch us on your mobile device or download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS, and Windows phones from their respective stores. The Channels TV and Channels 24 app will give you access to, to the eyewitness feature with which you can share those pictures, videos, or news of happenings around you. Just install the app, then tap and swipe to reveal the menu and follow the instructions. The humanitarian crisis from the New Year's Day attacks in Benue State seems to be getting worse as thousands seek shelter and safety away from their communities. Emergency response organizations say supplies are being overstretched as thousands with over 90,000 internally displaced persons compete for their daily needs. This comes as Governor Samuel O'Tom opens yet another IDP camp in Makwadi, the state capital. However, the Commissioner of Police in Benway State says the huge crisis is not because of a lack of protection by security agencies, but that of panic and fear of the unknown. A pathetic situation here in Se Akenyi and Tokula villages, the two communities lying between Bajimba and Daudu districts of Guma local councils have become deserted. Even the few members of the communities left are seen moving their belongings with the intention of relocating to the Daudu IDP camp where over 10,000 displaced persons are now taking refuge. Governor Samuel Otom arrives at the Agan Togit IDP camp recently opened to accommodate those fleeing from Kakako in Nasarawa and Yelweta in Benue State. IDPs from Tokula count their losses, including dead relatives. I lost three persons in my family, three brothers in my family. I lost the whole of my rice farm, my soybeans farm, my guinea corn. We didn't carry anything. Governor Samuel Atom again pleads with the federal government and the international community to come to their aid and protect them from the herdsmen. This matter is a security matter. And security matters are the prerogative of the federal government to come in and solve them. They have the coercive powers and uh, we don't have them at the state. And it's the duty of the federal government to ensure that laws of the land are respected and obeyed. While the State Emergency Management Agency gives an update on the humanitarian crisis. We have been uh, calling on um, uh, other humanitarian uh, actors uh, to come and uh, intervene. Uh, unfortunately, not much um, has been uh, done. The police thinks the humanitarian situation is not tied to the imminent and present danger. We had to move the mobile units towards the border where the um, criminals were using to make an incursion to Benue State and um, the units had been effective repelling. At their Gan Togate and Daudu IDP camps, displaced families struggle for their daily bread, cooking in the open space. The condition is the same at the Bajimba IDP camp, where children of school age have had their education interrupted. As the search for a solution to the herdsmen and farmers crisis continues, relevant authorities may have to intensify efforts to ensure that the hardship faced by these internally displaced persons at the moment is reduced to the barest minimum. And joining us on News Across Nigeria to talk more on this issue is Rachel Etzionzu, the chairperson, Benway Non-Governmental Organization Network. You're welcome to the program. It's my pleasure. Firstly, we'd like to begin by sharing our condolences, extending our deepest sympathy to the people of Benway State for all the lives that have been lost and the property that has been destroyed. And now, that being Thank said... Yeah. Now, that being said, um, what do you think the government needs to do as a practical measure to make life easier for the displaced people? And turn this around. Um, the government will need to, because in most camps, what they lack water and shelter, though they are in shelter, in shelters, but things like uh, basic amenities like um, uh, personal effects, mattresses, 
blankets, lights, because most camps don't have electricity. And feeding is another issue. So the government is trying, but they need to do more. Drugs, because we have a lot of IDPs. As of now, those that are in camps are about 16,000 thereabouts. But others that are staying with relatives, because some of them came, like in Daudu, you have more than 3,000 staying with relatives. And lots and lots of children are affected. So the food is not enough. And we are thinking that if this goes on, between now and June, there will be a lot and lot of malnutrition. Even right now, the children are coming in malnourished. So if they stay in camp for some time and their needs are not being adequately taken care of, malnutrition will become so prevalent that it will be a thing that people will be running here to scatter to cop down. But it's time now to prevent it is for them to have enough, enough food, medical care, shelter, and water, sanitation, and all that they need clothing too. The issues Rachel, what you're saying, what you're saying appears to be everything. They need everything. I don't see anything on that yeah. list that you've reeled off yeah. that excludes anything that they need. What uh, what no. is the government saying? What what organizations, the emergency management agencies, and the government itself uh, that, that are responsible for supplying these items? Uh, the 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 give them some blankets. Um, mattresses, that was when they were just like five camps, and they took those things around. So the other two camps, and you know the influx of this IDP is coming from Kadarko and from Nasarawa State. They are so much, and those ones that came in just like three days back, not so much has gotten onto them. Though people are bringing in things, I learned that today Action Aids were asking to bring in some food stuff. UNICEF is working there. Some other organizations are working there, but it's a large crowd and much needs to be done, more needs to be done, so that we prevent the situation that we saw in the Northeast. Look at the reason that the Commissioner of Police there gave for uh, uh, what drove, what drives uh, this movement away from their homes. He's saying that part of the reason is fear of their lives, uh, safety, to to, they, can't, they don't want to go back home because they're afraid that those incidents will happen again. What are you, what are you getting from the people? Uh, exactly, because this is not the first time it has happened. From 2012 up to now, the terrorists are attacking because we, we, won't, we don't know who is doing that. They say it's not his men, it's bandits, it's that, and they're coming every year, every year. And when they labor and get their food stuff and everything, they come here and destroy everything, and they go. these people go back to square one. They don't want to go. You will know that if you go to Daudi Sheta, you know that the 2016 IDPs that came in have not left. The transition shelter was, that was built, they are still there. They are refusing to go back because they will be killed. You understand? So that is the situation. There's a mass movement from the communities to, to the cities. Thank you, Rachel, for coming on News Across Nigeria. Rachel Etionzu, the chairperson, Benue Non-Governmental Organization Network, speaking on the humanitarian crisis in the displaced persons camp in Benue State and saying, amongst other things, there is a crisis. 60,000 people, at least internally displaced in Benue State and in need of of all the emergency uh, items that one can think of. You're watching news across Nigeria. Coming up, still to come on the program, a federal university in Ebony State is to be renamed after the late former Vice President, Dr. Alex Ekweme. Please stay with us.